Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and welcome to quite a different video. Today I'm going to be reviewing an album for you, as in an album of music, but not just any album of music, because today I am going to be reviewing for you an EP inspired by the works of Jane Austen. So today I'm very excited to tell you about a new EP called Love Jane, which is out today and is um, by the American singer-songwriter Amanda Fagan. This EP is inspired by the works of Jane Austen. It consists of six songs um, and each song is about a specific Jane Austen novel. The EP comes out today, but I've been lucky enough to listen to it ahead of time. A little while ago, Amanda Fagan and her manager got in touch with me to ask if I'd be interested in reviewing the album and they sent me um, a review copy, I guess. Um, don't see why it shouldn't be called a review copy for an album as well as for a book and I have to say that I have absolutely fallen in love with this album. One, it is just the kind of music um, and kind of singer-songwriter style that I like um, but also I just really love all the Jane Austen retellings and Jane Austen vibes of this EP. It's really, really fun. As you probably know if you watch this channel, I love Jane Austen a lot. She's one of my favourite authors. And I also really love all things in the sort of like wider Jane Austen universe. I really enjoy Jane Austen retellings and Jane Austen adaptations and Jane Austen merchandise. And I just enjoy things that are inspired by Jane Austen and seeing how Jane Austen inspires so many people and so many creative people in so many different ways. So I really, really love this. This album. I think it is a massive fun and I really, really recommend it. I'm also going to hopefully be doing an interview with Amanda Fagan about this album and kind of how Jane Austen has inspired her later on in the year in Jane Austen July, which I think will be really fun. So you have that to look forward to as well. But today I just want to chat about what I like about Amanda Fagan's music, what I like about this album, and also I want to talk through each of the songs in turn and kind of how they um, reinterpret or reimagine Jane Austen's books because I think that's just really fun. I've been really getting into Amanda Fagan's music over the last couple of months and um, before I ever heard the Love Jane EP and I really really enjoy her style. I don't think I know enough about like music genres to specifically say what like area her music falls into. I guess like singer-songwriter, indie pop, often piano and guitar and singing. Her style is sort of, to my mind, quite musically, by which I mean it puts me in mind of musical theatre. And I'm someone who loves musicals. I love going to see musicals on stage and listening to music from musicals. And I think Amanda Fagan's songs partly put me in mind of musicals because the style of music is a bit like that but I think they also put me in mind of musicals because she has this real like storytelling feel to so many of her songs which I really really love and it's one of the reasons why I think her music works really well for Jane Austen retellings. My two favourite songs of hers um, that aren't on the Love Jane EP are probably Last Ditch Effort at Making Peace and The Girl Who Lost Her Grip both of which I really enjoy musically but they also both have a really great story to them. Um, I'll leave links down in the description to these songs because they're all on YouTube and I discovered after I had listened to The Girl Who Lost Her Grip a few times that it is actually inspired by WandaVision, um, which is, you know, a, a Marvel TV show, which I had really enjoyed. So you can see that even before the Love Jane EP, um, Amanda Fagan is obviously like interested in, I guess, intertextuality and being kind of influenced by um, other media and kind of working that into her music, which I think is really, really fun. That's something I really love. Probably my favourite singer ever is someone called Duke Special, um, who has like a lot of intertextuality in his music and that he often writes music inspired by literature or poetry or photography. And that's something that I really enjoy about his songs too. Anyway, let me move on to actually talking about the EP Love Jane. So as I said, this EP is made up of six songs, one for each of Jane Austen's main novels and the track order is in publication order which I think is pretty fun and the idea behind the music of the album is kind of that it takes sort of Regency style music and puts a modern twist on it. So, you know, most of the instruments used are instruments that would have been played in the Regency period, you know, piano, harp, classical guitar, traditional older forms of percussion, but with a slight modern twist. Um, and I think that's a really cool way of like acknowledging Jane Austen, both like in the lyrics and in the music itself. I think that's really fun. I also really enjoyed the different interpretations of various Austen characters and also sort of the interesting modernizations put on some of the stories and um, and kind of the way some of these songs act as sort of mini modern retellings of Jane Austen books, I suppose. I also really enjoyed that most of the songs were not just about like a moment or a character, but about a character arc and about kind of 
a character journey, I guess, because one of my favourite things about Jane Austen as an author is her character development. I also really enjoyed how Amanda Fagan has worked in like some of the themes of certain books into the songs and also worked some lines and sentences from Jane Austen's original books um, into the songs too. Basically, I just feel that the album as a whole is both like really cute and really sweet, but also like really smart and clever. Um, and I just really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. I have been listening to it a lot and I have been singing it in my head a lot. I would say that I'm someone who really enjoys music but I don't tend to sit down and just listen to music like usually I listen to music either when I'm driving or when I'm doing like particular kinds of work like if I'm proofreading I need silence but if I'm like I don't know writing an editorial letter or doing some work admin um, then I often have music on for that which I really enjoy um, but this is the kind of album and these are the kinds of songs where I've just been like sitting still listening to them because I'm enjoying them so much um, and because the lyrics are so clever and I want to think about the lyrics and how the songs are interpreting Jane Austen just as I would if I were you know reading a Jane Austen retelling um, so I think that's really fun and hopefully gives you a good sense of how much I like this album. However I did also want to talk about each individual song in turn because um, I really like all of them and I really like different things about all of them I guess. So I'm gonna talk through um, the six songs on the album. There are gonna be some spoilers um, for Jane Austen's six novels or for like the endings of Jane Austen's six novels, you know, who ends up with who in the rest of this video. And I guess on the album too, you know, the individual songs deal with some pretty important plot points in each book. I know that Jane Austen's books are pretty well known, but just so you're aware before I start talking about them. Think with your head, not with your heart yourself together when you want to fall apart so the first song on the album is Think With Your Head, Not With Your Heart, which is about Eleanor Dashwood from Sense and Sensibility. I really enjoyed the song. It's a really lovely modernization of the kind of Eleanor, Edward, Lucy love triangle. And it really incorporates those themes of like logic versus feeling, sense versus sensibility. The song also captures really well like Eleanor's emotional repression and the extent to which she's like slightly lying to herself, which I really enjoyed too. Like all the songs in the album, you can tell that the music is really inspired by early 19th century music. It begins with kind of like soft slow piano almost like you know one of Jane Austen's young ladies performing at um an event in front of their friends and neighbors and then you kind of get strings and I think a harp later on I'm pretty sure it's a harp but you know don't quote me on that and I just think that works really really well I think the idea is that the songs kind of get more and more modern feeling as the EP goes on, which I think is a really fun way of like, I don't know, symbolizing Jane Austen's career progression, I suppose. It's really cool. Won't give parties a chance because he hates to dance, but he would gladly dance with her. The next song on the album is Ardently, which is about Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. And this song is kind of focused on Mr. Darcy rather than on Elizabeth um, and looks at, I guess, his like character arc over Pride and Prejudice. I really enjoy this song. One, because it's really fun to see Pride and Prejudice um, from Mr. Darcy's eyes, um, but also because I feel like the characterization of Mr. Darcy is just really, really well done in this song. I also really enjoyed how like certain lines or um, images from Pride and Prejudice were woven into the song. I thought that was really fun. I would say that Ardently is probably like the cutest song on the album, um, which I think feels correct because Pride and Prejudice, to my mind, is the best like love story in Jane Austen. I just really enjoy Ardently a lot. I have been singing this one all the time, especially the chorus. The strings are amazing. The piano is lovely and it's just a really, really beautiful. She wasn't satisfied. She had to go wreck her life and chase the only guy who had caught her sister's eye. The next song on the album is Mariah, and this song is about Mariah Bertram from Mansfield Park. So the other songs on the EP are about the heroes and heroines, um, but this one takes a side character, Mariah Bertram from Mansfield Park, which I thought was really, really cool, um, because Mariah is a very interesting character, and also because um, Mariah's story is... I suppose a lot more tragic and I feel like Amanda Fagan just captures that really really well in this song. This song just really centers Mariah and her like self-destructive streak I guess um, as well as her like messy entanglement with Henry Crawford. Like I feel like it's just explored so well in this song. There's actually a music video coming up for this song which I am very very excited for. I think that'll be really really fun um, and I would say that this is probably like is this my favourite song on the EP? I don't know. I feel like 
as a Austin retelling, this is my favourite song on the EP. Like, lyric-wise, this is my favourite song on the EP. There's another one which I'll talk about later, which I think is the one I have, like, had stuck in my head the most. But I think Mariah is probably my favourite song, like, as a reinterpretation of Jane Austen, because I just think it's a really interesting side to take. I also love the music of Mariah. I feel like it suits the character and her story so well, because it has this, like grandiose epic tragic feel to it um like contrasted with these smaller subtle moments um the strings are amazing the percussion in it is really cool as well there are even timpanis which has that real like um i don't know grandiose classical feel to it but i care about what you think and i like when you dance with me and i hate when i let you down i hope we'll always live in the same town the next song on the album is The Game I Said I'd Never Play, and this is based on Emma. I really love this song. Um, it very much captures, like, Emma's voice and attitude. And again, it gets that kind of, like, character development, character arc, and, like, storyline um, into the song, which I really like because, you know, Jane Austen's books are so much about the character development. And I really like how all the songs in the CP really kind of, like, capture a bit of character development or a kind of storyline and change in circumstances. I think that's really, really fun. Like I said, one of my favourite things about Amanda Fagan's music is that she's one of those singer-songwriters who is very like focused on storytelling. I also really enjoy how the song incorporates like references to particular moments in Emma and also my favourite line from the novel and I also feel that it captures the dynamic between Emma and Mr Knightley really really well which I thought was really fun and yeah I just really really enjoyed this one. Musically it is lovely as well. The music has a real like a feel of the book of Emma to it. I don't even know how to explain that. Like leaving aside the lyrics the music itself gives me a similar feel to the book Emma gives me which sounds very vague and kind of is but there we go it's a great song life isn't like the novels that you read that's what they tell me The next song on the EP is Beware of How You Give Your Heart, which is about Catherine Morland from Northanger Abbey and kind of takes place I guess at a moment like a few chapters before the end of the novel um, and kind of looks back on her experiences over the course of the novel, I guess, and also kind of what happens at the end. I really liked how this song also like feeds in other plot lines from Northanger Abbey, especially about James and Isabella. I thought that was done really well. The song also kind of looks at like Catherine's naivety and the dangers of that, which I guess you see in the title, you know, Beware of How You Give Your Heart. And there's also quite a lot of like um, bookish uh, themes and imagery in the song which I really enjoyed as well. As I think I said earlier on um, this kind of sound to the songs gets like a little bit more modern as the EP goes on and I really love the music of Beware of How You Give Your Heart. It's just very like soft and gentle um, and a bit somber in places which I feel like fits really well for like the moment in Catherine Morland's journey that the song kind of captures. I especially love the bridge of Beware of How You Give Your Heart. Um, I feel like the bridge is often my favourite part of a song. I don't know if that's just me but I really love the one for Beware of how you give your heart. You pierce my soul. I'm half agony, half hope. Please don't tell me I'm too late. Tell me you didn't give your heart away. To... And then the final song on the EP is, of course, inspired by Jane Austen's novel Persuasion, um, and that is Half Agony, Half Hope. So this song is kind of divided between the perspectives of Anne Elliot and Captain Wentworth. We have like a verse from Captain Wentworth and then a verse from Anne Elliot. And I really, really love this song. I think probably musically, this might be my favourite song on the album. Like this is the one I've had in my head the most and I really, really love it. Although I think maybe I like Mariah even more as a, like a retelling. Um, but anyway, I think this is a really fantastic song. It also feels like the most like um, romantic, epic song on the album, which I feel like is correct for Persuasion because although I think Pride and Prejudice is like the best love story and Persuasion is like the most serious love story I suppose so in that sense the feel of the music like really fits the feel of Persuasion I also really enjoy how it incorporates a lot of language from Captain Wentworth's letter which you know is an excellent letter and um, we could all agree and I really enjoy how the wording of that kind of weaves throughout this song I also just love like the strings and the percussion and the whole sound of it it's got some really clever like percussion in it as well I think it's got I don't know whether it's a rain stick or it's like actual sea sounds at the beginning, but it's got like nautical themes within the music, which is very cool. It's just a great, great song and I've been singing it in my head all the time. Or indeed out loud because, you know, I work from home so I don't bother anyone with my singing. All in all, I really, really love this EP. I think it is really, really great 
just like as music that I love, but also as six Jane Austen retellings, it is excellent. I think my favourite song, like as a Jane Austen retelling is probably Mariah, um, which I really, really love. But I think my favourite like overall song is probably Half Agony, Half Hope. But to be honest, I love all the songs on the album and I have just been listening to it like constantly over the last few days. I was looking at my, um, listening history on my phone earlier and I um I'll put a screen record thing in as I just scroll back through endless repeats of this album so anyway I hope this has been an interesting video obviously quite different to what I usually do I don't usually talk about music so I hope that this made sense and that um you could understand what I was saying I'm very used to reviewing books and reviewing music is new to me um but I really really loved this EP and I feel like if you're a Jane Austen fan um then you will probably really enjoy it too so I'll leave some more links down below to where you can find out more about this EP and where you can stream the songs um, but please do go and check it out and also check out Amanda Fagan's music more generally because as I said it is really really fantastic um, and yeah I just love this very very much um, I'm so pleased that um, I got the opportunity to listen to it early and I'm so grateful to Amanda and her manager for being really really nice we had a really nice like zoom chat about Jane Austen which was really fun and I'm really looking forward to interviewing her later in July so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video please do let me know if you go and listen to this EP what you think of it um, and that's all for now, and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video. Tell me you can